Let me just share my mic is working. Cause we got some show business to do, baby. Alright, just let me just tell the people that I'm on. For those who are joining, welcome, welcome in. As you guys gotta bear with me, I'm letting people know that I'm live. So if you guys please just bear with me. I truly, truly appreciate it. Okay, so got that, and I think I'm good. <laughs> so what is up, guys? I am truly OG1K. Welcome, welcome on this Saturday. I hope you guys had one hell of a Thanksgiving, and if you guys shop for Black Friday, please, by all means, shop early or wait for shopping Monday. With all the people. <laughs> but as always, we got one hell of a show for you in store today. As in case you don't know, I'm ahead to the schedule. As coming up is RSW Day One. Now we do know some matches that are happening. We do know that Damian Rage will defend the RSW World Heavyweight Championship against Marcus Mag. Now Marcus relinquished the Intercontinental Championship, and why? Yes. Well, he says there's nothing he can do. He's pretty much done everything being intercontinental champion and he can't be champion he wants to be the world champion so he has decided to go for the world title now what does this mean for the intercontinental championship we gonna do an iron survivor challenge now in case you guys are not on discord i advise y'all to please go follow me on discord um i don't know who's got the link on the chat but you guys will see soon enough but, as always, I've chosen 10 superstars who I think are worthy enough to battle for the Intercontinental Championship. And that's the show we got for you today. And also, we got two champion versus champion matches. Now, let's take a look at the match card. The first qualifying match is going to be Wes Lee, former I New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion, going up against former RSW Cruiserweight Champion, current EPW Cruiserweight Champion, Santos Escobar. The second matchup for the qualifying match, the phenomenal AJ Styles is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Imperium's Ludwig Kaiser. And then in our first champion versus champion match, we got Dallas King representing the beautiful people. It's going to be taking on the first lady, Ivy Gutierrez Mack, who will be facing Gianna at day one. Dallas King will be facing Nikita Saban at day one for the RSW Women's Championship. And then in our third qualifying match, we got Chris Legend, former television champion, current EPW National Heavyweight Champion, correct me if I'm on travel, but he's going to go one-on-one -on -one with the former television champion, former strong champion, Ilya Dragunov. And then this one is a dream match. Former two-time RSW World Heavyweight Champion Seth freaking Rollins going up against a former RSW World Champion, multi-time RSW Tag Team Champion, the charismatic Enigma Jeff Hardy. And then in our co-main event is going to be Battle of the High Flyers. We got former Cruiserweight Champion, former New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion Nathan Frazier taking on former New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion himself. Carmelo Hayes and then in the main event it's another champion versus champion match we got Gunther versus Damian Rage and without further ado we gonna get things started and we're gonna start off with our first qualifying match we're gonna see who is gonna qualify for the day one Iron Survivor Challenge as this is going to be pretty, pretty interesting to see how this is going to turn out. Five superstars looking to be 
a part and want to be Intercontinental Champion. I'm super excited. Future Undisputed, thank you so much for joining. I truly, truly appreciate you on this Saturday. I hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. I know I did. As we're going to get it started on Showtime, baby. And we are live here in good old Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. As we're about to get things started with our first of five qualifying matches. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wesley! Wesley, a former New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion, former NXT North American Champion, NXT Tag Team Champion, NXT Dusty Classic winner. And he's pretty much done it all. And pretty much one of the most underrated stars and high flyers I've seen to this very day. And let's not forget his history with the phenomenal AJ Styles for the strong title back at Clash of the Castle. But Wes Lee looking for a much bigger prize as we speak. And that's for the Intercontinental Championship. He's called the Cardiac Kid for a reason. But can the Cardiac Kid take down this superstar I know he's got Dragon Lee tonight at Survivor Series in Chicago but it's time to build a legacy with and his opponent representing Legato Del Fantasma from Mexico City Mexico weighing in at 200 pounds Santos Escobar Santos Escobar last year, former RSW Cruiserweight Champion, defeated the likes of Axiom, Ricochet, Chris Jones. The list goes on and on and on. And Santos Escobar, he's saying he wants bigger opportunities. He wants a bigger championship goals. I think Santos can do it, in all honesty. I mean, hell, even for the war game spot, he eliminated four superstars by himself. And he was runner-up before he got eliminated by Seth Rollins. But the question is, can Santos be the first superstar to qualify? Here we go. Santos and Wesley are going to start it off in the qualifying matches. And here we go. And Wesley already on some good offense. Nice Falcon Arrow by the Cardiac Kid. And Wesley, round and round you go, round and round you fall. Now, guys, we do know that day one is going to be live in Atlanta, Georgia. And it's going to be a few weeks away from December. And, oh, oh no. Santos going after the leg of Wesley. And into the cover, and Wesley already kicking out at one. But Santos, he is one deadly superstar. He may be sadistic, but he is one dangerous star. I mean, hell, he defeated Chris Jones at EPW to win the Cruiserweight Championship. Something that nobody expected to happen. But Santos' eyes, he made it happen. Santos going to the top rope. Already going for a but cross body and it connects. Wesley already in deep amount of trouble. And going for a leg drop, but miss. And I think Wesley was trying to go for like a forearm, but doesn't connect. And Wesley, Wesley going into the cover. Look at that shot, Santos, and no. Let's take it at one. As guys, yes, don't forget Survivor Series is coming up. Let me know who you guys got in the comments as your pick. Oh, what does Santos got playing here? Oh, Wesley. Ooh, Wesley reverses. Missed with the clothesline. A nice form by Wesley. The cardiac kid doesn't want to quit, doesn't want to surrender. Into the cover, 
and a kick out of two by Santos Escobar. Wesley wants to get the bigger moments in his career in RSW. Ooh. Santos with a drop kick. But Wesley is saying, hell no. It's not going to happen. Double knee strike by Santos Escobar. I'm sorry, yeah. <laughs> and what the Santos got playing here? It. Oh wait a minute! This is how he defeated Chris Jones for the cruiserweight championship. And oh, good Lord Jesus! Went right on the throw into the cover, but Wesley kicks out at two. I know Santos. He wants to end it so quickly. It'll be faster than a hiccup. And is he going to go for it again? Oh, I thought he was going to go for it again. But Wesley, he saw that coming. And round and round you go. Round and round you fall. Wesley not willing to back down from a fight. A nice Tiger bomb. Nice Tiger bomb by Wesley. And Wesley looking to be the first superstar to qualify. I think of so many stars that oh Wesley going going high risk and it pays off. Wesley going high risk and it pays off here. And this is the opening matchup. Can you imagine the qualifying matches like this? And there's no way you want to end it off in a countdown. And Santos try to go for a drop kick, but does not connect. But Wesley connects with his own drop kick. Carter James referee at four. And oh, Wesley with a Tiger Bomb again. Rest at the count of five. Referee at six. If I was Wes, I would get him back into the ring. And Wesley's going to go back inside the ring. Santos still in the days looking. Oh, broke the count. Broke the count, but Santos... He's going to go back into the ring. He's going to go high risk it. Oh. I didn't think he get all of it, but. I didn't think he got all of it from Wesley. But this time he connects with a drop kick. And now look at that. Wesley has already been busted wide open. Uh-oh. Santos Escobar looking to become the first star to make it. And the day one with the. I don't know what to call it. Phantom Driver? Yeah, it was Phantom Driver. And yes, it works. Santos Escobar is heading to Atlanta at day one. Big win for Santos Escobar. As he's the first superstar to edge his name. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. Santos Escobar is going to day one in Atlanta for the RSW Intercontinental Championship. Can you imagine what a celebration that will be if Santos goes on to Atlanta and win the prize? That would be pretty epic. Big win for Santos. And Santos is the first superstar to go to day one. Big win for Santos Escobar defeating Wes Lee. And coming up next, we got another qualifying matchup. We have the phenomenal AJ Styles battling Imperium's own Ludwig Kaiser. Now, can you imagine Imperium getting not only the television championship, but also the Intercontinental Championship that is if Ludwig can qualify and defeat the phenomenal AJ Styles. But we all know it ain't gonna be easy. But this is gonna be pretty interesting. AJ Styles and Ludwig Kaiser right now. As this is our second qualified matchup here in Oklahoma. And I am glad to say this. Oklahoma has just 
became phenomenal. The phenomenal AJ Styles is ready for a brace impact. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the OC from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles, one of the stars who had an opportunity for the RSW Intercontinental Championship at one point, but came a little bit short for, Mark, for Marcus Mack. And Marcus Mack said, if anyone wants the Intercontinental title, it's the phenomenal AJ Styles. But AJ, who had the last laugh, laughing at the core, because the OC got a win at Survivor Series. Now, Gallows and Anderson got titles, but Styles wants a title of his own. But if he wants to go to Atlanta in his home, he's going to have to take out this superstar, Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig Kaiser is set for action live on Showtime. And his opponent, representing Imperium from Hamburg, Germany, weighing in at 220 pounds, Ludwig Kaiser! And if I'm going to be honest, Ludwig Kaiser is pretty much the main reason that Ill Skills is not the RSW television champion anymore, thanks to Ludwig Kaiser. Ludwig Kaiser paying dividends to the ring general Gunther. That's why Gunther is the current television champion. But don't forget, Ill Skills, Ill Skills, and Gunther will be facing off for the television title at Day One in Atlanta. But the question is, will Ludwig also be going to Day One as well? This is super exciting. In my opinion, I think Ludwig Kaiser may have a lot of experience in the ring. He's going to have to go through the phenomenal one to do it. And here we are, a second qualified, second of five qualifying matches. Already Ludwig Kaiser already had the advantage. Oh, German suplex. Can you imagine guys like Ludwig Kaiser getting an opportunity of a lifetime and pretty much hasn't gotten the much respect that he deserves ever since going to RSW. Like, Gunther's been getting the, all the opportunities. I mean, he's the ring general. AJ Styles. AJ Styles looking to get his measure of opportunity as well. AJ is gonna go to the top rope. What does AJ got to score it? Wait a minute! Oh! AJ was looking for the spiral tab. That's something you see from AJ. AJ was looking to end it that quick. But Ludwig Kaiser, nice cross body. And Ludwig Kaiser already was just on the attack by AJ Styles. Nice arm drag by the Phenomenal. You know AJ, he wants to go to his hometown in Atlanta. And Ludwig Kaiser. Nice single leg cap kick by the Phenomenal. I mean, by Ludwig. Why did I say the Phenomenal? And Ludwig going to go missile drop kick. High risk equals high reward. As Carter James already at two. AJ Styles. AJ Styles already sending a little message. He's sending a message to 
anyone who is in the Intercontinental title picture that he is going to go to Atlanta. The referee already restarting the count. Referee already at one. And guys, Ludwig Kaiser, one of the most, most promising superstars in this business, former NXT Tag Team Champion. Like I said, Imperium is watching backstage as well as the OC. And AJ Styles. AJ Styles, nice drop kick by the Phenomenal. And AJ not giving Ludwig Kaiser any moment to breathe. That's what you got to do if you're going up against the Phenomenal. A nice counter by Ludwig Kaiser. But AJ with a counter of his own. Nice back shot to AJ. And now Ludwig. Ludwig back inside the ring. What does AJ got planted? Uh-oh, AJ, if he hits this, it's over. There's a, oh, he missed a phenomenal fall. Ludwig. Ludwig was going to go into the cover and take full advantage. And uh-oh, I think Ludwig is going to take advantage. Imagine this would be an upset into the cover. No, AJ kicks out at two. Guys, Ludwig could pull a big upset here. And oh, Ludwig, oh. Oh, Ludwig tried to go for it. I think Ludwig tried to go for that kick, but AJ, he saw that coming. AJ saw that coming. Uh-oh. There he goes. Cap Kessler. Oh, but the ropes, the ropes save it. The ropes save Ludwig Kaiser from any total damage onto that knee. Uh-oh, AJ. Oh, Ludwig doing the smart thing. He knew AJ was going to hit the phenomenal forearm. He knew that was going to happen. AJ Styles, he was like, he was ready to pop that phenomenal forearm. But Ludwig is saying otherwise. And what is up, Travel Armless? What it do? One half of the RSW World Tag Team Champions. And Ludwig Kaiser going to go high risk. High reward. And uh-oh. AJ Styles may be in trouble here. This could be the beginning of the end. A nice suplex. Is that going to be enough for Ludwig to advance to Atlanta too? No. AJ kicks out again. AJ Styles is running off of fumes. And there's that phenomenal blitz. Phenomenal blitzing. Uh-oh. AJ, he tried to hit it earlier, but he couldn't do it. But this time he connects with the phenomenal form. Into the cover. Look at the leg. AJ Styles is going to day one in Atlanta. Wow, wow, wow. Just when you thought Ludwig had the opportunity... But AJ Styles, in the end, picks up the win. That, we thought that was it, but bam, that was Here's the difference winner, maker. The phenomenal AJ Styles. AJ Styles now joins Santos Escobar in the Iron Survivor Challenge. And he will go on to fight for the Intercontinental title. Wow, big win for AJ Styles and a big moment because now AJ is going to be headed home to Atlanta in his hometown. Could AJ be the one to win the Intercontinental Championship? Wow, so Santos Escobar and AJ Styles have already advanced on to day one, but we're going to take a little break from the qualifying matches because we still have Carmelo Hayes, Nathan Frazier, Seth freaking Rollins, Jeff Hardy, 
Ilya Dragunov and Chris Legend. Th those are going to be epic matches. But we're going to take a little break as we're going to have our first champion versus champion matchup as one half of the world tag of the women's tag team champions and number one contender for the RSW Women's Champion, Dallas King, is going to go one on one with the IWGP Women's Champion, Ivy Gucci Ass Mac. Now, in case you don't know how this came about, on Twitter, Ivy had issued a challenge to Gianna at day one, and Dallas thinking, not a good way for to lose the title, but however, Ivy does not back down, and she issued a challenge to Dallas King 1v1. Now, we do know Dallas King is going to be facing Nikita Saban for the RSW Women's Championship. But can you imagine if Dallas King defeats the First Lady? Oh, Lord. I know it's going to be a celebration for Dallas. But it's women's action, and it's right now. Again, we are live in Oklahoma, and this is going to be pretty interesting for this bout. And here comes one half of the women's tag team champions, Dallas The King. following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring, representing the bad girls from the Bronx, New York, one half of the ring stampede wrestling women's tag team champions dallas king dallas king and gianna won the women's tag team championships at a house show in atlanta before really oh dang i didn't even know that Good Lord Jesus. I don't know who it is, but I can tell it won't be pretty. But Dallas King, ready to seek action and opportunity. And when you have champions, you can't forget about this woman right here. The IWGP Women's Champion. Oh, you tagged me on TikTok? Okay. I'll take a look at it because I haven't been on TikTok in a minute. But here comes the IWGP Women's Champion, Ivy Gutierrez. And representing Absolution from Houston, Texas, the International Wrestling Grand Prix Women's Champion, the Queen. Ivy Gutierrez, Mac. Ivy Gutierrez, who will be facing Gianna at day one live in Atlanta. Ivy's held that championship more times than anybody, but she is one fighting champion. But this is non-title match. And can you imagine if Dallas pulls off the biggest upset in defeating the IWGP Women's Championship. I mean, we've seen Dallas defeat pretty much all the members of Absolution, but Dallas has yet to beat Ivy 1v1. And look at this, Dallas King already off to a hot start. And you know Nikita is gonna have her eyes on Dallas King. And guys, speaking of the RSW Women's Champion, if you miss Rage, the main event was Nikita Saban versus Kanan Carter, but Kanan Carter pulled off the biggest upset. Nice drop kick by the IWGP Women's Champion. Kanan Carter pulled off the biggest upset in RSW history, defeating Nikita Saban. Now, uh oh, and, oh, breaking the finger of the Women's Champion. Now, these two are going back and forth, back and forth. But guys, we now we know on Rage next episode of Rage, Kaden Carter will go one on one with Dallas King, and if Kaden Carter is victorious, then she will be added into the RSW Women's Championship picture, and it will be a triple threat match. And Ivy, 
Ivy Darren Dallas team to get up. Oh, nice kick. As Ivy lands on her feet. I know Ivy wants to hit that Ivy injection. Uh-oh. I think she was looking for it, but no. Dallas King. Dallas King reverses it. And Dallas King is going to go into the cover. Hook at a leg and just an instant kick out at one. And guys, you guys know the history with Absolution and the beautiful people. And oh, look at that. Deep six into the cover. But Ivy's going to kick out at two. Ivy's not just going to back down just like that. And Dallas King saying, I'm taking out the trash. And oh, I think Dallas was looking for that cutter, but it doesn't connect. And uh oh, oh, this is something you're not gonna be in. It can fit in the ring with Dallas. Oh, Dallas was looking for that arm bar that made so many people top out in her career. But Ivy, being that champ that she is, she knew that was coming. More of a light suplex into a final cut. Ivy gonna go into the cover and an instant kick out at one. Ivy knows what it takes to battle stars like Dallas King. I mean, look at her rivalries with Becky Lynch, Dr. Britt Baker, even Mercedes Monet back in the past. And what does Ivy need to do to take out Dallas King? Uh oh. Oh, there's that submission. You saying you have a submission? I got one too. Poison Ivy locked in. But Dallas King is saying, no, I'm not going to get this poison stuck in the veins. But Ivy, oh, Ivy with that dangerous knee. That's what Gianna's got to look out for. She's got to watch out for Ivy's right knee. Because that knee will knock anyone out like a light. And I don't know what is going on with Ivy. Ivy just massive aggression with those aggressive headbutts. And Ivy Gutierrez already entering the ring. Those women, they're saying what you can do, I can do a little bit better. And Ivy Gutierrez, she's got a lot to show with her side. Uh oh. I think Ivy. I think Ivy may send Dallas to get an injection, but no. Instant counter right there, and again, again, going after that arm of the IWGP Women's Champion. Can you imagine Dallas King getting a big victory? And oh, shoulder tackle. I think both stars were going for an offensive move, but Dallas King, she knew that was coming, but Ivy is saying no. I can do something better. A nice uppercut. Ivy's got to be careful with that left arm. It's got to be very, very dangerous. And look at this. Uh-oh. What is this here? Ivy connects with the pedigree. Ivy connects with pedigree. Into the cover. Dallas King may be out. Oh, no, she's not. Dallas King... Avoiding loss with the pedigree. Oh no. Oh, this may be done. Oh, there's the Ivy injection. Dallas King may be out. Or maybe not. Ivy connected with the Ivy injection, but it wasn't enough. And you had a crowd saying fight forever. Oh! Oh, not good with the arm. Try to go for that elbow dropping. Oh, and there's that cutter. There's that cutter. Ivy tried to go. High risk. He thought the Ivy injection was more than enough. And there's that arm. There's the left arm. And Dallas King could pull it off. And Ivy's got to tap out. Dallas King just pulled off the biggest upset. Uh, Dallas King. Just that good message sent to Nikita Saban. Dallas King, Dallas King may be ready for the RSW Women's title 
And there's that armbar submission going after Ivy's bad arm. Ivy had no choice but to tap out. But a big win for Dallas. Here is your winner, Dallas King. I got to be honest. If you thought the beautiful people wasn't dangerous, they may be even more dangerous because they just beaten Dallas King just defeated Absolution's best member of RSW. Wow. If I was Nikita Saban, I would be very, very careful. But a big win for Dallas King. Big win. Wow. Talk about getting victory where it's well deserved. But coming up next, we have ourselves three more qualifying matches. And then our main event, which is the World Heavyweight Champion, Damian Rage. Gonna go one-on-one -on -one with the television champion, the Ring General and Gunta. But coming up next, we got ourselves our third qualifying match. Where the rush, the mad Russian Ilya Dragunov, current NXT champion, I'm gonna go one on one with the former television champion of RSW, Chris Legend. Now, Chris Legend, the current RSW, he's the current EPW national heavyweight champion. And King's Bear Wolf, thank you so much for the resub. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you as always. You've always been there for me. I've always been there for you. you. You're the day one. But coming up next is our third qualifying match. And it's right now. Again, we are live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And you talk about some ready for action. Here comes the mad Russian. Current NXT champion. Ilya Dragunov, the czar of NXT. And you might as well say the czar of RSW. Because that man, he's ready for a fight. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Moscow, Russia. Weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. Ilya Dragunov, former RSW television champion, former New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion. Ilya Dragunov, he knows what it takes to win gold. He knows what it takes to be as powerful. He knows resilient as there is. But the question is, can he move on with the likes of Santos Escobar and AJ Styles to Atlanta? to challenge for the Intercontinental Championship in his Iron Survivor qualifying match. The Mad Russian. Just look at the intensity. Look at his eyes. He's ready for a fight. I gotta know when there is smoke, you gotta have from some fire. West Hollywood, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, Chris the Legend. Chris Legend, current EPW National Heavyweight Champion, former RSW Television Champion, Chris Legend, representing KOS. He's gonna go at this alone. And Legend, not wasting any time as he's ready for some smoking action. Now we do know that Vanessa Legend not happy after suffering a loss to Maggie Morgan. There we go, and Chris Legend, Chris Legend already was trying to go for the attack, but Ilya Dragunov, he knew that was coming. And look at that straight up power by Ilya Dragunov and Felicia Carr, our referee for this matchup. Ilya Dragunov, he has to show his skills, his technical skills, his aggression, 
is Dread Messiah. If y'all don't know, yes, Chris Legend is Dread Messiah. Those who don't know. And oh, look at that. Showing a little bird to go. Good Lord Almighty. Knock, knock. What it do, Master CJ? What it do? Welcome, welcome me on the episode of Showtime. I hope you had, hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving and hope y'all ate well, got some good food in and watched a little football as always. <laughs> and people were joining, welcome, welcome in. This is our third qualifying matchup here in RSW for the Iron Survivor Challenge to determine who will win the vacant Intercontinental Championship. We already know Santos Escobar defeated Wes Lee and he qualified it. Uh oh, Drip. As I'm saying that, Drip Messiah with a Drip combo. That's a Drip Delicious combo right there. Into the cover. And, oh, Ilya Dragon up with a kick out of two. I'm doing good, Master CJ. I hope you had some good food. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving to those who had good food. Watch some good football. All that jazz. And Ilya Dragon up. This is with that kick. And dragging out the technician himself. The Drip Messiah. He wants to become none other than a champion once again. Now we do know Vanessa Legend, who wants another opportunity at gold, but has some problems to deal with. And into the cover, and no, dragging off kicks out at the kick of two. Uh oh, what? Oh, wait a minute. I don't think we've seen this from Drew Messiah. What's he got playing here? Whoa! That's something you don't see from Drew Messiah. And in the cover. And just like that, Drew Messiah is going to Atlanta. Wow, Ilya Dragunov. I don't know what the hell to call this. But that was pretty effective. Pretty effective. Here is your winner, Chris the Legend. It was effective indeed. And Chris Chris Legend is now gonna go to Atlanta to face Santos Escobar and AJ Styles. Now don't forget two more spots remain on this Iron Survivor Challenge. What a moment. For Chris Legend making his return and already he's going for the Intercontinental title. Big win for Chris Legend. And what it do, ill skills. Welcome, welcome in. As we're down to two more qualifying matches, and then our main event, Damian Rage, is gonna go 1v1. One one. Wait, what? Oh no, false alarm? Okay. Okay, I'll about to say. Don't don't make me don't make me go him on the security. Nah, it was a false alarm. False alarm. Security backstage they told me happy belated Thanksgiving, so <laughs> we're we're good, y'all. We're good. We're good. But coming up next, we got ourselves our fourth qualifying matchup for the opportunity at day one in Atlanta. And it's the fourth one. Oh, gonna let clean in the house. Oh, okay, it's all good. Take your time. Take your time. And I know, uh, Ill Skills, you don't want to watch the main event because your opponent, Gunther, is in the main event. But either way, we got ourselves our fourth qualifying match. We got Seth freaking Rollins versus the Charismatic Enigma. And yes, if y'all don't know, the Hardy Boys, they are now a part of the blue brand on Showtime. As they got traded to, uh, they got traded from Rebellion to Showtime. But let's get it started. And Step Kick Game, what is up? What is up? Welcome, welcome, man. I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you guys are shopping. Or if not, please take advantage of Black Friday or Cyber Monday. I am begging you. It'll save you a lot of time. But as I'm saying that, here comes the visionary. He is the revolutionary. A former RSW World Heavyweight Champion, our own right, Seth freaking Rollins. And you hear the crowd in Oklahoma serenading his song. The following contest 
is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Freakin' Rollins! Of course, the old skills would say fuck Simon Monday, but <laughs> uh, step out. I'm glad you had an amazing Thanksgiving. I'm so glad that everyone had a good Thanksgiving and just a happy time spending time with family. But there is. Seth freaking Rollins, who came up a little bit short at War Games, losing to Rebellion. But however, Showtime is still considered the A show from a 5 to 4 deficit. Seth freaking Rollins looking to go to Atlanta for the Intercontinental Championship. But in order to do that, he's got to go up against one of our newest. Superstars of RSW. It's none other than one half of the Hardys. And his opponent, the representing the Hardy Enigma. Boys from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. One one of former World RSW World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, true. Sorry, y'all. I got a text from my wife. <laughs> but yes, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, who is the newest signee to Showtime. Well, not really a new signee, but got traded from Rebellion to Showtime. And Jeff Hardy looking for that opportunity to become RSW Intercontinental Champion. And I already hear Oklahoma serenading as the match has already started. And Seth Rollins with a sling blade. See, like, Oklahoma is still going. Like, I, I can't even focus with this match. Because Oklahoma, they're serenading the song. And Jeff Hardy into the cover and Seth Rollins kicks out. Guys, you know Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins' is history. Like, they, back in 2017 or 18, guys, correct me if I'm wrong, when the Hardys were going for the tag team championships, they have fought before tag team-wise, but they never fought 1v1. And Jeff Hardy going high risk, high reward. Guys, that's the charismatic enigma for you. And Jeff Hardy trying to go for, like, some power bomb, but Seth Rollins... Oh, Seth Rollins tried to go for that knee, but Jeff Hardy reverses. And Jeff Hardy again trying to go for that power bomb. 2017, okay, thank, thank you, Future. I truly, truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate it. As yes, we know, we know that Jeff Hardy and Seth Rollins, no strangers to each other. Pretty much the one all do it all ends the by the charismatic enigma. Now, guys, we do know that. Oh, nice powerbomb face buster. Now, guys, we do know that both of these stars are former WWE Grand Slam champions. We also know that Seth freaking Rollins will be in action at Survivor Series in Chicago later tonight. Guys, I had this crazy theory like. I remember back when Survivor Series was in Chicago, back when NXT invaded, Seth Rollins got his ass booed off the stage. And Rollins, oh, and Rollins with a knee right to the face of Jeff Hardy. And Seth Rollins already not wasting any time on the charismatic enigma. And Jeff Hardy gonna go for the counter. Will Jeff Hardy get the advantage? No. That's Jeff Hardy, a former RSW World Champion, the first superstar to ever win an Elimination Chamber in RSW history. Yes, if y'all don't know, Jeff Hardy last year was the very first superstar to ever win an Elimination Chamber by RSW. Uh-oh, Seth Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins with the stomp. It might well be night-night for Jeff Hardy. And Seth Rollins. Ooh. I thought Seth was going to go on to day one. 
And here the crowd in Oklahoma saying we're not worthy. And Jeff Hardy drops down. A nice drop base buster. We know Jeff Hardy wants to go high risk. Hits the swan time. It may be lights out for Seth freaking Rollins. And now Seth trying to go for a suplex but does not connect. And Rollins, nice drop kick by the Visionary. You know, Seth. Oh, Seth. I think Seth was going to go for another stump. But it doesn't connect. And Jeff Hardy. What does Jeff Hardy got in store? Uh-oh. Jeff Hardy from the middle. Rope and there's a twist of fate. Twist of fate from the middle rope. Is that enough? And no. Seth Rollins kicking out at two. Guys, I thought that was it right there. And Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy showing that comeback. This is vintage Jeff. Oh, a nice drop kick. That is vintage Jeff Hardy that we all know and love. Oh, I think Jeff is looking for that twist of fate. Oh, and this time he got it. Twist of fate. Twist of fate and Jeff Hardy. He's entering the drop zone. Jeff Hardy! Oh, wait a minute. I thought Jeff was trying to go for a swan time. Jeff usually hits a swan time, but Rollins into the cover looking to steal one. And no. Jeff Hardy does not steal one. And nice tornado DDT. Jeff, if I were you, I'd go for the drop zone. And that's exactly what he needs to do. And Jeff again not going for the swan time. Oh, he got it! He does hit the swan time! But Jeff Hardy was... That was pretty unique by Jeff Hardy. A swan time bomb. But Seth Rollins was standing up into the cover. But Rollins... Yeah, that... Yeah, it took a little too much time. He gave Seth Rollins a little too much time to recover. And now Seth Rollins taking full advantage. That's what you can't do if you're going up against Seth freaking Rollins and Jeff Hardy doing a smart thing. Rolling out the ring. And now Seth Rollins taking full advantage. To the non people who are watching, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday afternoon with me. I truly, truly appreciate you. As always, you guys are the number ones. You guys are the little ones. Y'all are the realest. Y'all are the fullest. I don't know what else rhymes. <laughs> As Jeff Hardy, feeling a little dazed, a little bit confused. Seth freaking Rollins. Telling Jeff to stay out there. Referee at six. Oh, Seth Rollins was looking to go high risk. I was hoping Seth was going to go high risk. And oh, Seth Rollins with a sling blade. Is that enough to keep Jeff Hardy down? No, it does not. Jeff Hardy. Seth Rollins is like in a frustration. What the hell do I got to do to take out the charismatic enigma? We got to do much more. And Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy with a reverse twist of fate. Will that be enough for Jeff Hardy to advance? No. Rollins kicks out again. Oh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy. He wants Rollins to get up again. I don't know how the hell this swan time. And there he is. Another swan time. But Rollins standing up. I would go for the cover, and will this do it? Two. Wow. Jeff Hardy is going to day one for the Intercontinental Championship. Wow. 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 That's a big win right there for the Charismatic Enigma. And there was that swan Here's time your bomb. Jeff. Harvey. A big win and what a debut for the Charismatic Enigma on the blue brand. And what better way to enter yourself 
into the qualifiers and head to Atlanta for the Intercontinental title. Wow. Hey, Jeff Hardy does not stink. You take that back right now. Wow, so guys, we got four superstars already in. We got Drip Messiah, a.k.a. Chris Legend. We have uh, Santos Escobar, as well as AJ Styles, and now Jeff Hardy defeating Seth Rollins. And now we need to know who is our final member. We need to know who is our final member to join day one. Will it be the man who shoots his shot? Or, okay, I will tell, I'll tell Mrs. Boss, I'll tell Mrs. Final Boss that you were sneaking around with Nikita. And don't forget, hey, don't come after my Boston homies. Like, you can't be coming after my boy Mello. Now, don't get me wrong, I love Trick, but really, you have to do Mello like that. Come on. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So, you know. Don't forget, I got your wife on speed. I got your girl on speed dial skills. <laughs> and what is up, King Spear Wolf? And this is our final qualifying matchup. This is our co-main event. Whoever wins gets to join Santos Escobar, Jeff Hardy, Drip Messiah, and yes, uh, I believe it was, I don't know, I lost track. Oh, AJ Styles, yeah. But this is the final one, and it's our Coleman event here in Oklahoma. Here's the man when he shoots, he don't miss. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo. <laughs> oh god wait 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 hold up guys I know we see the all stuff but what wait 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 skills are you are you actually serious yo girl is having you clean the house in a bridge made fit oh my god Oh, oh, I'm gonna have a chat with this is boss after this, after this show. Oh, man, that's gonna be funny. But either way, Carmelo Hayes, former strong champion, looking for the final spot in day one in Atlanta. But if he's gonna get that final spot, he's gotta go through one, in my opinion, the fastest and one of the most agile high flyers in the game today. None other than Nathan Fraser. And his opponent from Jersey in the Channel Islands, weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Fraser. Nathan Fraser, who was a part of the Showtime War Games, had a good breakout moment. Former RSW Cruiserweight Champion, former. New Japan Pro Wrestling Strong Champion, Nathan Frazier, in my opinion, he's one of the fastest rising stars in, in RSW to this very day. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to have a chat with, uh, yo, with Mrs. Boss. Oh, God, I, I'm not in this, I'm not in this. But here we go, Nathan Frazier and Carmelo Hayes. Looking to fight for the final spot. Okay, okay, let's not cry. Let's focus. Let's focus on our mat. Let's focus on the co-main event. Focus on the co-main event. As we do know that Nathan Frazier, one hell of the baddest superstars in this game. Oh, Nathan Frazier tried to go for the super kick. And Oh, Mello with a knee strike. Uh, I do have Chad Turner, so don't worry. I have Chad. Uh, only time will tell. 
That's I, how I always see it. Because with the Royal Rumble coming up, you don't know. And Melo. And Melo, nice suplex by Melo. And Melo gonna go high risk and high reward by Carmelo Hayes. When Melo shoots, he does not miss. But the question is, can he shoot a shot and will he score? That is if he can defeat Nathan Fraser. Uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, travel. If you're talking about me, because my girl already knows about it. <laughs> so what what are you gonna tell? What are you gonna tell her? What are you gonna tell her? I mean, my girlfriend already my wife already knows about me having a crush on Nikita. She aren't she's not mad at it. What's she gonna do? <laughs> and Melo, nice kick right to the Yo, think of something. Dude, there's nothing that my wife don't even does know. My wife knows a lot, so trust me, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, no matter what you think. And Melo gonna go high risk, high reward, into an elbow drop. I mean, cause travel, you know I can say the same for you and uh, yo girl, so don't come at me. If you're gonna come at me. <laughs> and Melo, when he shoots, he don't miss nothing but Nate. Already? No way. Into the cover. Ooh. Last time I checked, Nikita's mine. Uh, Chris. Chris, don't make me come at the yo girl. Don't make me go at the yo girl, too. <laughs> yeah, we all gonna get in trouble with our girls. <laughs> we all gonna get freaking trouble. Well, I don't know about Master CJ, but I don't know. And Nathan Fraser, nice elbow straight to the back of the head, neck of Carmelo. Guys, if you don't know, Nathan Fraser is trained was trained under Seth freaking Rollins. Oh, Nathan Fraser was looking for that kick. No, uh oh, like, oh, Melo with a knee strike. And Carmelo. I mean, that's all good. I mean, like, I, I don't discriminate with people in their relationships. Like, Travel has Cameron Irons. Uh, Ill Skills and Mrs. Boss. I don't know why, because Ill Skills always goes after Rosalina, but uh oh. They the Frazier with a frog splash. Yeah, that is true. Nathan Frazier can be a star given it any chance. And I can imagine if Nathan Frazier goes on to defeat Melo and goes for the Intercontinental Championship. And, uh oh, what does, what does Nathan Frazier got in store here? Nathan Frazier bloodied up. Nathan Frazier superplex, but not done. Final kill. What a combo by Nathan. But it does not work. What do you mean don't say that loud? Oh, what? Uh, you don't want me to talk? Uh-oh. Nathan Fraser going to go hard. Here's Phoenix Splash. Will Nathan get the final spot in day one? Yes, he will. Nathan Fraser gets the final spot at day one. Congratulations to Nathan Frazier as now the field is set for day one. Wow, wow, Here's wow. Here's your winner, Nathan Frazier. The field is set for day one. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, I'm... I am legit excited for this Intercontinental Title Iron Survivor match. You got Santos Escobar. You got AJ Styles. You got Chris Legend, a.k.a. Drip Messiah. You got Jeff Hardy. And now 
we got Nathan Frazier getting the final spot for day one for the Intercontinental Championship. So what's the card for the PLE? Okay, I'm glad you asked. Before we head into the main event, so I'm going to go back real quick. As the match card, I'm going to go to the schedule because we are just three weeks away from day one. So the match card is looking like this. We have Damian Rage, who we will see later on tonight, battle Marcus Mack for the RSW Intercon. Ugh. God damn it. Let me start over. Take two. We have Damian Rage defending the RSW World Heavyweight Championship against Marcus Mack. And this one was just announced that Sheamus will defend the RSW Championship against the almighty Bobby Lashley. Yes, Bobby Lashley and Sheamus will battle for the RSW Championship. On the women's side, Dallas King, who, in case you missed it, Dallas King, who scored the big win over Ivy Gutierrez Mac via submission, may I remind you, Dallas King will be taking on Nikita Saban for the RSW Women's Championship. We also know Gianna will be facing, who is the other half of the beautiful people and the other half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. Gianna will battle Ivy Gutierrez for the IWGP Women's Championship. Uh, the triple threat match we have for the RSW Cruiserweight Championship. Tyler Bate, who was supposed to defend his championship on Rebellion, but did not get a chance to do that because of a returning Christian Hawkins, the assassin. And uh, Travel, I got to upload Christian Hawkins for you, so be on the lookout for that. But yes, Christian Hawkins will be battling Chris Jones, a.k.a. Master CJ, Christian Hawkins, and Tyler Bate for the RSW Cruiserweight Championship. And Drip! Drip, you missed your match, dog! And speaking of Drip, a.k.a. Mr. Chris Legend himself, there will be two Iron Survivor matches. One is going to be for the RSW Women's... No. RSW Intercontinental Championship. We have Santos Escobar, AJ Styles, you Drip Messiah. <laughs> yes, Master CJ. Uh, Christian Hawkins was at it. If y'all don't know Christian Hawkins, he was on uh, 2K22 on my EFET last year. Former member of Legacy it is a long story. I'll get to that a little bit later. But yes, Nathan Frazier, Jeff Hardy, Chris Legend, a.k.a. Drip Messiah, AJ Styles, and Santos Escobar will be battling for the Intercontinental Championship at day one. And then we have the Women's Iron Survivor match. We got Roxanne Perez, Gigi Dolan, Zia Lee, Crazy Katie, and... One more spot remains to be filled. But also, the core, they need a challenger for the tag team titles. But however, on Rebellion, we will have a tag team turmoil to see who will face Lars Malenko and uh, Austin Graves, a.k.a. Travel Armless. But only time is going to tell who's going to be in the turmoil. I can't tell you which tag team's gonna be, but we'll give a recap right now. If you missed it, yes, Santos, AJ, Drip Messiah, Jeff Hardy, and Nathan Frazier have qualified for day one. And then Dallas King pulling off the biggest win of her career, defeating Ivy Gutierrez Mack by submission. And guys. You should already know what time it is, and I know Ill Skills is going to say, well, voice crack time. In this case, you're right on the money, because it is mid of 
the afternoon and it is a champion versus champion match now we do know gunther will be defending his television championship against ill skills at day one and damian rage who will go one-on-one -on -one with marcus mack for the rsw world heavyweight championship and also just announced next week on showtime it will be ill skills versus marcus mack 1v1 and i don't know how this is gonna be happening but lord knows what the hell is gonna happen but yes that's gonna be the main event for next week on showtime as ill skills will be taking on marcus mack to see who will gain momentum but for right now this week it's the champions that are gonna take over in the main event and it's live and it's right now but yes this is main event time and here we go entering the ring first as he comes out of the locker room and there's that superstar who is nothing but pure violent he is pure violent he is aggressive no matter how you look at it he's just one bad dude he's a destroyer he's a violent superstar the and he's following world champion. champion versus champion contests is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from milwaukee wisconsin weighing in at 245 pounds the ring Stampede Wrestling World Heavyweight Champion Damian Rage. Damian Rage. By far, in my opinion, one of the most violent stars we've ever signed to RSW. Rage, who is pretty much the one all and do it all. He's had history with Marcus Mack, but let it be known, fun fact. That Damian Rage has yet to defeat Marcus Mack 1v1. And yes, that's kind of crazy that Rage has never beaten Marcus Mack in his entire career. You look back at their history for the Intercontinental Championship at Money in a Bank. You look back at their history in GWE back when Marcus made his return. But this... This ain't about their history. It's about the World Heavyweight title come Atlanta, Georgia. Rage is going to do things all by the book with a little bit of violence and probably spilling blood when he gets the chance. But when there's violence, you know the ring is sacred when this man enters the room. And his opponent representing... Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the Ring Stampede Wrestling World Television Champion, Gunter! The Ring General Gunter, who's pretty much been one hell of an impressive superstar, former RSW United States Champion, Former, well, yeah, he's pretty much a former RSW United States champion. And he's the current television champion as defeated the likes of Kevin Owens, Marcus Mack, and Ill Skills via submission. But the question is, can Gunther defeat none other than Ill Skills come day one in Atlanta? The ring general says the mat is sacred. Damien Rage, nothing but violence. And here we go. This is our main event. Battle of champion versus champion. And Gunther already going for a submission hold. But Damien Rage, he's saying, no, I'm not going to tap out that easily. A nice instant clothesline. And, oh, nice dodge by Gunther. 
right there. You know if you're battling the ring with the ring general, you gotta be careful with those chops. Oh gosh, nice, nice back drop by the ring general. And there goes them chops. And Gunther may be in deep trouble. And Rage with a knee strike. Getting Rage, just a violent dude. To those who join in, welcome, welcome in. And oh, good Lord Jesus. A DDT by Gunther. A DDT by Rage. But Gunther with a nice counter. And there's those chops. And try to go for a spinning back fist. Yes, yes, Jeff. Yes, Jeff, you got the win. And yes, you're part of uh, the Intercontinental Championship opportunity come day one. Uh-oh, Damian Rage. Nice DDT by the World Heavyweight Champion. And Rage and Gunther both know they don't want to end this via countout. Can you imagine if Gunther... Pulls off the big upset. A big win over the world champion. You, you never understood death matches. Well, honestly, honestly, like me personally, I don't mind death matches, but it's all about like the safety and like people do get hurt. Like that's no secret. And Fans just like brutality. They like the blood. Uh-oh. As I'm saying that, Gunther hits a power bomb. Power bomb by the ring general. Is the match safer tonight? No. Never got the point of any. Well, honestly, I feel people enjoy like violence and like the goriness and like creative uh, dangerous shit they can pull off with. Because I think the first time I ever saw, like, a, a death match. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the? Hey! Powerbomb. That is Gunther's move. And Gunther kicks out at two. Sorry. I, I was focused. And Damien ran. Oh! And Damien crashes and burns. Damien Rage crashed and burned off of that. Yeah, death matches are honestly like the Texas Chainsaw death match. It's like pretty much being sadistic and sick up to a level that you never thought you could do. Like John Moxley, he he's he's like that. That's his that's his environment. And Gunther, I don't know if it's a good idea to boast if you're battling the world heavyweight champion. And now Damian Rage with the strength. Damian Rage. Trying to bounce back from a disappointing loss to Sheamus back at Survivor Series. Now, yes, if y'all didn't know, that Gunther got the win over Kevin Owens at Survivor Series. But Damian Rage suffered a loss to... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Pretty nice move in there. Into a fisherman. Swinging fisherman neck breaker. Damian Rage. And again, nice that was a nice move there by Damien. And Damien wants to make Gunther bleed. He wants to see nothing but blood. Rage is violent. That's what he's known for. But guys, I know Ill Skills and Marcus Mack, they are watching their, their opponents real, real close. Uh-oh. I think it may be thanks for coming in. Oh! I didn't know if he hit that, but Gunther... Gunther, like, reverses the end of days. That was a pretty good counter. And Rage, ooh, Rage with a power driver. Damian Rage always goes for the head. You know Rage is that violent. He just wants to see you bleed. But if you make him bleed, it'll be a big fatal mistake on your part. And Damian Rage... No bloody head, not yet, but nice double stop and into the cover. But Gunther kicks out. As yes, ill skills, don't forget next week you will be facing Marcus Mack. 
It won't be wanted. Uh oh. There it goes. Thanks for coming in the days. And the days and Gunther maybe out like a light. Two. Oh no, maybe not. Ray just like, what the hell? How the hell is Gunther still on his feet? And I think this may be a difference maker right here. Going straight into the turnbuckle. Uh oh. This is what made people bleed it. Oh, and there's that blackout. I mean, Gunther makes sure the ring, the mat is sacred, but yeah, Gunther ain't human. Gunther's not human. I don't know. Ever since he won the television, ever since he defeated Marcus Mack with a submission, Gunther's been on a high level. I agree, and there's a nice power bomb and into the cover, hook of the leg, and Gunther gets the win over the world champion. I thought Gunther was I thought Gunther was done, but apparently I stand freaking corrected. That's what Ill Skills gotta face at day one in Atlanta. Here is your winner, Gunter! In the main event of them all, the ring general stands tall. You may say Gunther's mid, but whether you love him or hate him, he's a champ for a reason. I mean, yes, Ludwig Kaiser did cost you the title, all honesty, but Gunther is that dude, and he really is that man to beat. But that is our main event. A big one. He's a cheater. I mean, well, you're not going to have... He's not going to have Ludwig Kaiser in his corner because I did bard... Imperium from ringside, so it's all fair game at day one. But wow, that was one hell of a show. Yes, 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 I know, I know. You don't want that to happen, blah, 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 blah. But yes, that marks the end of the RSW Showtime. And at... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hold on guys, I'm getting word from security and all that stuff in. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a preview for Rebellion. I'm actually glad you said that because I'm going to do the match card right now as we speak for Rebellion. We're going to do the match card as we speak, so... Now, we already know a few stars are already in. Give me one second. I might as well knock this out while I'm on. I'm actually glad you said Roxanne because Roxanne is going to fight for a final spot. And let's see, who could she take on? You know what? I will... Oh, Raquel already lost. No, no, no. Who could she take on? Let's... You know what? Let's do Roxanne versus Cora Jade. Okay, so that... Who was the one with their hat on back one? Uh, I, I have no clue. I would have to look. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to do a battle royal. I'm going to do a battle royal. Actually, no. Let's do it six. Let's do a six man representing each team. Okay, six stars representing different teams. 
So we got. Let's do. Finn Balor representing the Judgment Day. I'll do. Do I have a. Do I have the House of Black? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, let's do Malachi Black representing the House of Black. Uh. We'll do. Pretty Deadly. Uh. Mase, I'm gonna go Mase. Uh, we're gonna go Cree Brothers and who else can I do? Let's go. I'm gonna give it to. Shoot, fuck it. Almost. Hurt business. Okay, so. Six. Make sure you put a brawl in. But yes, yeah, so, so far, two matches announced. Six men battle royal to determine who, which team will face for the core. Pretty deadly. You got the Creed Brothers, Judgment Day, Maximum Male Models, House of Black, and Hurt Business. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Never mind. Because I can do eight. I keep forgetting about that. So guys, if y'all watching, yes, uh, show's over, but I'm setting up the match for rebellion. For rebellion. Let's do. I want to do Butcher Ridge. Let's do Ridge. And then I need one more. Uh, we'll go with. Hmm. I gotta think who else that can I put as a tag team. You know what? Let's go hit row. Okay, there we go. Okay, so when does uh true when does uh skills and truly happen? That happens next week. It happens next Friday. Okay, so. Guys, bear with me, cause I'm. You're pretty much looking behind the scenes of what I do with stuff like this. Rivalries. I already know I have Nikita and uh. Hmm. Sheamus. And Bobby are in the rivalry, and intensity is high. And then who else is in the rivalry? I can save that for later. But I do know that that's going to be official. And absolutely not. Uh, we will do. Cause I'm trying to save uh, the matchups for day one. Let's do. Let's do Kelly Jordan, and I would love to see her take on. Let's see her take on Carmella. And, yep, that's the main event. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. I 
I know Roxanne's already in, so I'm gonna do a men's match. We'll do Awesome Anthony, who is one half of the who is the European champion. He will take on Let's give him Let's give him a miss. Just a little bit of 1v1 action. And then co-main event. We're gonna do uh, it's gonna be a debut. Dragon Prince. And AJ Wolf. That's gonna be a debut. I'm gonna put that as a robbery if he wins, so. And then also customize this. Gonna go. One v one. Brock Lesnar, I have not put him on since the last time. Gonna go Austin Graves. It's gonna have Lars and Rock Sand by our side. He'll take on. Let's give him You know what? I'm gonna make this happen Yeah, that's gonna be And I think this may be my uh thing Yep, I'm going with this Okay Let's go. Yep, ambush the champion. And then we'll go. Okay, so this is pretty much <laughs> JD versus House of Black. Oh, that would be pretty interesting, but that will be pretty much later. But guys, this is going to be the matchup. We got the eight man battle royal. Whoever person wins, their team will face off the core. Then Kelly Jordan will battle Carmella. This is what's gonna determine the final spot for the uh, women's survivor challenge. Awesome Anthony taking on the Miz. Chris Jones versus Austin Graves. AJ Wolf versus Dragon Prince, who is making his debut, and he's also in the uh, Discord. And then the rivalry. Yep, this is it. That's that's gonna be my card. <laughs> so yes, you guys saw behind the scenes. So that's gonna be my match card for Rebellion. As that's pretty much it. <laughs> and special shout out to all people who are watching. Uh, special shout out to um, Ill Skills. Mr. Skills have been nagging me, nagging you about being on my show. <laughs> uh, you know she could just send me a text via uh my e-fed, but <laughs> but either way, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I truly, truly appreciate it. I gotta finish uh some more stuff, but don't forget day one will be a few weeks away. 
uh, happy Survivor Series Day. And as always, we're going to end it off with a raid. As I got to see who is on right now. Let's see. My homegirl Bridget's on. As well as Comical and King Spirit Wolf. Okay, so King Spirit Wolf. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Do not be coming after. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a poll. I'm going to give you guys about two minutes of who should we raid. Okay, so one option is King Spear Wolf and the other is Comical. All right, two minutes poll is up. He only has three. Okay, so two votes for Comical. I know those skills says King Spear Wolf. If it just lasts about a minute, then I'm pretty sure if I get oh four four already for comical, so I I believe we comical may be the winner. Let comical get to affiliate. Y'all are too much. Uh, Y'all are too much. Y'all are too much. Good Lord Jesus. Hey, hey, I had green hair on Fantasy World Wrestling, but only because I wore the Joker. So that was the only reason why I had green hair. Hey, I had green hair on Fantasy World Wrestling only because of Joker style. That was the only reason why. <laughs> hey, hey, I had blonde, I had blonde, uh, whatchamacallit, I had blonde dreads, my character had blonde dreads, so, I would go back to color dreads, like, I had blue, red, yellow, <laughs> I had blondes, <laughs> entrance gear, okay, uh, I probably may do that throughout the week, so you might have to bear with me, cause I gotta do uh, holiday stuff for um, me, Ivy, and Master CJ, and I gotta do a uh, gear for me for GWE. But okay, so Comical won the vote, so that's what we're gonna raid. We're gonna raid our homeboy Comical, as he is doing Royal Rumble. So we're gonna go ahead and raid our homeboy comical as let's hopefully get him to affiliate Cuz Lord it took me time to get me to affiliate. I had everything. I just needed to average a lot of viewers, but yeah, let's hopefully we get comical to uh, To affiliate on twitch I will be with you guys for a little bit before I go and do my workout and shoot some hoops But as always I do appreciate you guys. I'm truly OG 1k Let's go have fun at the Royal Rumble and happy Survivor Series night. Deuces. Ooses.